CNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of Power Trading Hour. As always, we love it when you come to us at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have today? Well, we've got the bounce that I was looking for. Uh, I was out buying uh, calls this morning. Uh, probably getting the kind of the turn now that I'm looking at a couple of the stocks um, that I've been chasing. I added one in the newsletter. Um, the other ones, you know, sometimes they just move too quick to put in a newsletter, but um, pretty bullish uh, through expiration now. Uh, what, uh, we're up uh, 33, 34 points. Still shows that uh, 4,500 to 4,525, maybe even 4,550. We'll see how they close tonight. But really, the market makers have never really blinked uh, through this entire segment. We The one thing I dislike uh, has been that there weren't a lot of people shorting this. And that generally means that, you know, if you get a lot of people shorting it, I'd say another 100 points higher in the S&P. But uh, probably not getting that. But uh, we'll see. Maybe there'll be some good news. Uh, other things going on uh, in the, the market out here. Um, I also felt fairly good about uh, the market bouncing uh, this morning, mostly because uh, one of our uh, premier uh, subscribers to the Tiger's Den. Let me know that Kramer was out there and Kramer was saying, sell, 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 sell. Bring me the head of the false prophet, Jim Kramer. Yes, the false prophet. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm generally just uh, morally uh, disposed to taking the opposite side of whenever he's actually uh, slamming the table. And we have a little bit more on that today. But uh, options, market makers, as I said, you know, it's one of these things where a lot of people go, where it's going that way. Well, yeah, but it's kind of like a drunk. They can go down a lot of wrong streets before they get there. Why well, I kind of tend to wait till about now uh, to put together uh, options. And I didn't think much was going to happen before Apple yesterday. And probably that Apple uh, whiffed on a new product. Um, it was very interesting to watch the YouTube uh, influencers and the tech channels and the rest of the bloggers uh, go after Apple and try to make it sound better than it was. Uh, but it wasn't all that. It was rather tame. And uh, yeah, I think there's continues to be uh, kind of an aura around Apple uh, that it lost many years ago uh, with uh, 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 the previous CEO. Uh, anyway, uh, so, uh, yeah, there's not there much. You know, you can buy a high-dollar camera in it. There's some other stuff, but it's, it's, you know, the thing is Apple was known for being, and Steve Jobs, too, was known for being, uh, not an incrementalist. Uh, that was uh, actually Microsoft and, uh, and uh, that ilk. They believed in the, in fact, what's his name now? Just a losing, a losery right now for uh, that, uh, Steve, not Steve Jobs, I know. Uh, the Microsoft CEO, I'll think of it in a second. Um, he was always a big fan of the uh, Japanese um, method of just make it 1% better every time. And eventually we'll get there. Uh, no, no, not uh, not Nadella. Uh, no, before Bomber. <laughs> before Bomber. Uh, I'm just having a mental blank on his name. I see his face, the goofy little guy. Gates, yeah, Bill Gates. Uh, anyway, Bill Gates was a big fan. Early on, he would uh, 
there if you read uh, probably one of the best books on uh, all that time frame through about mid 90s uh, there's a book called accidental empires by uh, uh, Robert Kringley and it, Robert Kringley's not his real name but it was like a uh, it was a, a name that he had he wrote for info uh, info world which was kind of the Bible of computing through that that time uh, people would uh, fax him all kinds of uh, incriminating stuff from their company when they were doing nasty and bad things. Um, so you got to read, you know, the first thing you wanted to do is open InfoWorld and go to uh, that uh, that uh, column and find out what was actually going on. Uh, but anyway, he was uh, he wrote this book and it was a lot about the first 20 years or so of Silicon Valley and the computer revolution and all the accidental empires. None of these guys really planned for it. Some of them just stood in the right spot like Gates. I mean, he was kind of there, kind of knew it, but it wasn't like he was omniscient at 18 years old and knew exactly what to do. He just, he was smart and he got lucky. Generally, you have to have both of those things. Uh, but uh, he wrote a, a very interesting uh, treaties on uh, Gates and how he would take uh, two weeks off every year and all the, his underlings would try to get him uh, prostitutes and women and everything else. And he would just go, uh, eh, I'm not interested, go down and read his books. But he was a big fan of the idea. I'm trying to remember the name of it now. It's Japanese. Just make it 1% better. Well, Steve Jobs was just the opposite. Uh, he was a revolutionary uh, not uh, an evolutionary. And um, over time, <laughs> it was the tortoise and the hare. I think that's really what you see here, still the DNA of, uh, of, of jobs where they tend to throw big bombs. And then because they've done such big things, everybody continues to expect it. And I think if Steve Jobs was still there, I think maybe you might have some new products. I just don't see the current CEO being anything more than a very good uh, guy that's uh, very sharp with a pencil. Is he dumb? No. But uh, again, I always go back to this in technology. It is the uh, difference between Spock and uh, and the uh, – why am I having such a tough name? A day with name today, Kirk and Spock. Uh, the difference between Kirk and Spock. Uh, you want somebody that's a risk taker. You want somebody like that. You need somebody on that wall like Kirk. Uh, and, of course, uh, Spock, uh, irrational, uh, no risk taker, that kind of thing. You get that with CFOs and why I've never really liked CFOs becoming CEOs because they tend to just run the clock out over time. And he hadn't uh, really come up with anything that Steve Jobs wasn't working on when he died. Um, probably the earbuds were the last thing to come out, and that was because of battery technology. But anyway, uh, Kramer, as we always say, bring me his head but uh, and a little bit of apple. But I thought maybe, you know, maybe they would have had something yesterday. Not much. We'll be back after this, but we're looking for hire. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And we're back. And as always, it's a little bit of history. It's the issue. There it's all just a little bit of history repeating. My word, I'm not exactly sure what happened here. I had something here. So let's see if we can't get it. You know what, right now, breaking news here, stocks all around the world are tanking because of the crisis on Wall Street. Pauline Chu is in for Jennifer this morning. I can't imagine uh, how jittery the nerves must be in Wall Street for that open. Well, I can tell you already that the Dow is expected to open down 300 points this morning, Robin. So that gives you an indication of how jittery the markets are. This is such a blow to investors, whether you're a big trader or whether you have a 401k. And we're waiting for the market to open in about two and a half hours. So we'll see how this plays out. Around the world, both Asian and European shares are sharply lower. Asia's biggest stock exchanges in Japan and Hong Kong are closed. But every market open is in the red. India down. 5.4%, Taiwan down 4.1%. Same story in Europe. German shares are off 3%, London down 2.7%, and U.S. stocks could open lower by 300 points, as I mentioned earlier. And this is all because we're waking up to... On this day in 2008, the venerable Wall Street brokerage firm Lehman Brothers seeks Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, becoming the largest victim of subprime mortgages crisis that would devastate financial markets and contribute to the biggest economic downturn since the Great Depression. I remember that day well. I had no idea. But uh, interestingly enough, I heard early in my trading career that you need to go through a few cycles before you really understand how the market works. Uh, but certainly what seemed to be uh, almost the end of the world uh, in 2008 on this day, by March of 2009, uh, or May, yeah, it would be uh, March of 2009, uh, was some of my biggest trades ever, uh, once the market all got washed out. So uh, kind of every, uh, every uh, dark cloud does have a silver lining if you've got the cash to go and use it once the dust has settled. But uh, yeah, it was a tough, what, seven or eight months, seven or eight months to that 
uh, March, I want to say March 5th low. I just remember that I had a bunch of stocks uh, and uh, really believed in Wyckoff methods and found everything that was uh, testing previous lows on 10% of the volume. And uh, eh, just uh, had a four or five stocks that just made a, a absolute killing on. Um, and it wasn't, I didn't need any, uh, any uh, uh, Robin Hoods or Reddits. Just uh, found a lot of stocks that were testing previous lows on 10, 15% of the lows that they had uh, pretty much in the end of October, November. They came back and retested on uh, March 5th. I remember that day. Anyway, uh, no thought, at least I don't have a thought that we're in the same kind of condition. A um, lot of what's going on is, I think, waiting for the Fed next Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Um, in the meantime, I think a lot of people threw the baby out with the bathwater, and we're probably going to see some, a lot of people were shorting today. And I'm not a big fan of going short uh, during uh, options expiration uh, when the option market makers don't agree that lower is going to be uh, the close on Friday. Um, you know, we're up 33 points, 34 points. Probably when I look at the options tonight, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hallucinating, but I'm going to say it probably shows 4,500 to 4,525 for Friday's close. And everybody's jittery. You got nitwits like uh, Kramer uh, telling everybody to sell. Yeah, could he be right? Yeah, the old stop clock is uh, right every once in a while. But I, you know, generally, uh, even people that are right on the market, for uh, predicting huge downturns are almost always three hours, three days, or three weeks ahead of time. Um, heard Larry's show today and kind of jives a little bit with what I have, which is generally you get these moves down. Uh, generally, they're fairly quick. Then you spend, you know, maybe they take three or four days, and then you spend the next week going higher and running the uh, early shorts out and, of course, uh, they don't have the uh, wherewithal to stick through it. And then you get that next move. So if I was thinking uh, much of anything that the markets were going to fall apart, I would really look to next Wednesday with the Fed and whether or not they uh, decide to drop the big chalupa in the market. Doesn't mean everything's going to go up. I do think that we have a bit of uh, risk off, especially in the biotech sector, which is problematic. A um, lot of reasons for that. But, um, you know, I think a lot of people have bought into a lot of things they've heard on TV from uh, also a bunch of knuckleheads uh, who don't know and don't spend a lot of time actually researching the, uh, the uh, laws behind a lot of what's going on. And I, for the most part, I think, uh, especially for the vaccine stocks, it's all going to be about what happens in court. A lot of people believe that they know what's going to happen. Uh, they, uh, but uh, eh, I've listened to a lot of uh, lawyers debate what's going on. There's a guy that I kind of really trust, uh, debated a lot of people about this particular issue. And I think uh, you may be a little high on the price in a lot of those vaccine stocks going forward if you're betting that 100% of people in the United States end up with it because of a, a mandate. But uh, that is my opinion, but based on more than just watching the TV. Um, anyway, volume earlier in the day, as I said, uh, I didn't say earlier, I, I said earlier in the den, maybe that's the best way to put that. Um, and that was uh, somewhere around, I don't know, 11, 1130. Uh, the volume, maybe it was noon, volume had just stopped. And it ended up being kind of a uh, a standoff. Can we say Mexican standoff? I don't know what I can say anymore. Anyway, uh, as far as I know, uh, a three-way standoff uh, with two folks, the Bears and the Bulls, and those standing off into the corner doing neither. Uh, but uh, that's why I was kind of looking for this bounce my guess is that we'll have a lot of people think that at the end of this day, the thing to do will be to short. We'll probably gap up a little bit in the morning, 
that'll probably on Thursday afternoon, we'll probably have people wanting to short yet again. And you'll have another bounce up and probably squeeze those people out on Friday. Maybe we go sideways for a handful of days uh, and then get into the Fed. And if uh, the Mr. Powell decides to drop the big chalupa, yes, we are really that we lied last time. I know it was only 30 days ago, maybe not even 30 days. We lied and said we were going to tighten. And then we backed off of that within three days. I don't think he's going to try that again. It's going to be a little softer. A little bit more nuance, as they like to say in politics, when they're talking about uh, not a dime's worth of difference. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And just enjoying a lively debate in the den where you can have an argument, but you don't have to be argumentative which is there is a difference. So anyway, uh, we're watching what's uh, going on in the market. Uh, up, am I right here? 33, I think 33 points on the S&P cash. Let me just update. The, yeah, up 93 on the NASDAQ. Russell's up 20. Dow's up 228. Kind of funny to hear <laughs> people freaking out about Dow, uh, Dow uh, up or down 300 points back in 2008. But uh, always interesting. Of course, now 
it'd be a thousand. That would be the equivalent of a thousand, maybe eleven hundred points today. So uh, inflation goes everywhere. Uh, I had a question earlier. Uh, you can, of course, uh, put a question in at path at tfnn.com. Uh, Alibaba, and I like uh, this setup, but I'll probably wait till Thursday or Friday. Uh, but you do have the retest of uh, Alibaba at 152.80 that had 89 million shares, got about 20 million shares so far. Um, you don't always have to test these, but I do kind of like it when they do. Um, this is another one that might be uh, rather interesting to watch uh, in the next couple of days. I probably will. Uh, I'm not in the big mood to be throwing a lot of money uh, in, into equities at the moment, but uh, thinking that if you can get some decent prices on calls for Friday, probably not a bad deal, not just specifically on uh, Baba, but uh, many as I was buying. Uh, some in the newsletter, some for me. Sometimes they're just too thin. If there's only 10 options at 10 cents or 20 cents, uh, you can't put people more than uh, 10 people into that, can you? Uh, anyway, uh, some bigger options out there that look fairly good. I see one stock that was in the, I think it was around 40 bucks this morning, uh, that has a range for expiration at 50 to 60 bucks. And I thought, well, I'll take a little stab at that one. Uh, but again, um, very interesting to see the option maker, market makers so stingy at the open. Uh, not wanting to give you any kind of decent price uh, with the market lower. Always a good sign that, uh, hey, they, they, their mama didn't raise any fools, and this market's going to be higher and not too long. So anyway, we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, as I said, uh, market volume, eh, better than it had been, but not blowout here. 6.6 uh, .6 billion shares at the bottom of the hour. Uh, if we do like 7.2 uh, by the end of the show here, that that'd be kind of just middling. It wouldn't be any kind of blowout low on heavy volume. Um, again, I would love to have seen super uh, amount of shorting on Monday and maybe yesterday. We never really got it. Uh, today, the market just kind of died out of its own uh, own uh, lack of sellers. I suspect there aren't that many buyers, but I have a feeling a lot of the people that did short are going to be continuing to uh, uh, push back up. I had some stocks that were kind of close to my stops. Looks like they're going to turn before the end of the day. Um, so we'll see how well that does. But uh, as always, you kind of I'm a big fan of uh, on longer term trades, waiting to see what the close is, because uh, especially with high frequency traders, just about anything can happen anymore and, and generally does. Uh, but uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648. Now, tomorrow uh, we will have Tim Ord back, and uh, we'll be listening to him. So if you have any questions, uh, start getting them ready, especially if you want to call Tim. And um, also, uh, if you want to have me ask him before the show so that he has time uh, to go through them, because he's not one of these guys that's really uh, on the fly. You really need to either you need to ask him if it's a, a chart issue way before and then I'll get that to him and he can answer it uh, when you call in or something like that. Uh, other questions out here. Um, question about uh, Joe DiNapoli uh, being, um, what would you call it, enthusiastic yesterday. Um, generally, I'm a big fan of uh, understanding uh, a book that I bring up many times on the show, and that's uh, super forecasting. And there is, uh, when you want to forecast anything, whether it's the weather or the, or the, uh, uh, or the price of tea in China, um, forecasting, you know, whether or not you're saying uh, whether or not uh, China invades uh, Taiwan. Um, this guy spent about uh, 25 years doing surveys and found out that generally the people that didn't know as much as the experts, somebody that had a more generalized education, someone that wasn't a deeply, um, what would you call it, incensed uh, by the news, uh, the closer you are to a subject, uh, the more emotional you are on it, the harder it is to actually 
do something. And whether it's uh, Kramer or anybody else yelling about the end of the world, I generally am one to take the other side. There's a lot of reasons why. Uh, first would be uh, if it truly is the end of the world, there won't be anybody on the other side to give you anything. Uh, they'll just declare bankruptcy, take their money, and run to Costa Rica, uh, if that's still there, if we're not talking about true Armageddon. Um, so I never bet on the end of the world. It's just one that you're never going to get paid off on. Uh, and generally, when people are right about that anyway, they're almost always fairly uh, lengthily early on those calls. Um, I'm also not a big fan of uh, people that are perma bulls or perma bears. I'll always remember, I'm trying to, I want to say his name, uh, Joe Batapaglia. I think that's his name, uh, was a famous bear uh, that told everybody to go long all through 2000, 2001, 2003, when the S&P finally hit the low almost to the day, he decided that it was time to get bearish. <laughs> and of course, I being the contrarian, some people call me the uh, uh, a contrarian, what do they call me, a uh, uh, CCCR, a uh, cultural contrarian? I don't know, I forgot. Um, but uh, I thought that, man, if there was a time to go long, it was when this guy finally decided to throw in the towel. Uh, but, you know, I don't know if these people just get paid to come out and be wrong for years at a time. Uh, also kind of surprised that CNBC would have somebody on that was wrong for so long. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being wrong. Um, but uh, at some point, you sh should stop out and decide that whatever you've got isn't working and move on. One of the uh, big uh, things I had a, 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 a about, uh, uh, now I want to say Joe Graziola, but he's the baseball player, Gra Joe Granville who proceeded to make an absolute land office amount of uh, money and then be bearish for the next 13 years and give uh, more than twice that back. Um, the reality of uh, being short, whether or not it was this day in 2008 for uh, the Lehman Brothers or anything else, is the market's always going up about three-fourths of the time and going down about one-fourth. You've got to be able to sit through the three-fourths of the time it's going up, deciding on an end of play. First of all, most people don't have that kind of rich. Back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are you
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And we're back. I uh, got a couple of things going on here. Okay. Got that. Amazon, AMZN, did a little bit better than I thought. The pullback, I think what we were talking, 30. Well, we got close today. I was thinking that we could get down. Well, I got 3402. I'm I, trying to remember what we were talking about, but I think. Vaguely think, because I don't play this, but I think we were looking for this candle of the 30th of August. Uh, the low of the day there was uh, uh, 33.55. We got to 34.02, but certainly back into that candle, which was the big volume date. Um, question is, will it get back to 3,500 by Friday? And let me see, do I have... I wonder if I have the uh, options up on it. Let's see. Well, doesn't look good. <laughs> the option market makers, but of course, you know, there's a lot of people that have this that are buying puts um, underneath it for prote for protection, especially a $3,500 stock. Um, so. You, generally, the big thing of using options to predict um, expiration price assumes that there are shorts also in the market. There's not a lot of shorts. I think there's one day of shorts in Amazon uh, in the equities themselves. There just isn't much. Um, and when you can't do that or when being in a short position and you don't really want to, generally you're buying puts uh, for uh, uh, protection. Uh, so you're hoping that they go un, uh, unexercised. And I think that's, I, I don't play Amazon for options expiration a lot, but my guess is that, yeah, 3,500, yeah, you could be close. There could be a hundred bucks above uh, the prediction price for options on Friday, uh, just based on that. Um, you're kind of at a, uh, what I want to call a uh, hockey stick right at that 3,500 level. So if I saw 3,500 print for a second, I probably would um, think that I would be very close to getting out. But uh, yeah, uh, 3,400, but that's not uncommon with super high price stocks. Generally, the stocks that I want to look at, um, I look at every month. And if it's like a hundred or $200 stock, you still still have a pretty good prediction. When it starts being a $500 stock or a $1,000 stock like Tesla, uh, generally you have a lot of people in uh, those that don't want to see them uh, exercise because they're going to make more money if it holds up. So when you're sitting out here at like $750 on Tesla today and you start looking at it, and not a lot of volume, not a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, what you don't like about Tesla out here, though, is uh, a nice, really long push back higher up here, but it never really had a lot of energy, especially the last couple of weeks have been extremely light on Tesla. Uh, the new Rivian pickup 
became available, I think, yesterday or today. And I think that uh, between that and the F-150 probably cuts off Tesla of ever having a big uh, pickup business. Also, the, they decided to uh, um, make something that looked like it was a uh, baby uh, of uh, the Road Warrior and uh, many other apocalyptic movies. Um, and it looks so bizarre that I don't know if it would actually ever sell. And I don't think they even started the factory for them either. Uh, but I have a feeling that those are going to be the big uh, competitors. Um, the Rivian truck, of course, a lot of neat features in that thing. If you've not seen it, uh, I think Ford kind of tried to borrow a lot of those, but I don't think there are many in the 150 yet. Uh, but both of those trucks, I think I'd much rather have than a Tesla a car. Now, the Roadster. Yeah, that may be a little something different, but uh, if you're talking about a four-door, I'd rather have a quad cab Ford F-150 or this Rivian uh, if you're going to be buying an electric car. Uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648. Keep an eye on out here anyway. Um, yeah, lower for very high price stocks really doesn't mean that much in the scheme of things. Uh, what you're really looking for are people... Oh, somebody delivered something to my door during the show. Isn't that always interesting for Amazon? Hey, they placed it at my door. So we'll find out. Okay. Uh, got some more. Let's see here. Uh, am I pro or con automation? Uh, new documentary. Uh, uh -huh. uh, question. Uh, did you see uh, on this uh, company that wants to make a woolly mammoth? Um, yeah, I kind of watched this documentary on uh, making uh, animals that had been around before. I think it was called Jurassic Park. I don't think it, uh, the doc documentary didn't make it look like it turned out that well. Anyway, if you've missed it, there's a, uh, a startup. I think they, maybe they were on CNBC the last couple of days or something else, but they've been out stirring up trouble by uh, trying to say that they're going to make a woolly mammoth. Uh, well, if you think there's traffic now when the dog crosses the road, wait until that woolly mammoth comes by. Um, not exactly sure why you would want to uh, stir up a woolly mammoth. Most of the dinosaurs, of course, the DNA, even if it's in amber, only lasts about a half a million years. So we're about 20, 200 million years past reviving any dinosaurs. But woolly mammoths, 10,000 years, 20,000 years. You get enough of them, get some DNA. Yeah, you could, you could make one. I'm just wondering what animal is going to be the one that, that gestates it. And uh, an elephant, maybe. That's kind of big. Don't know. Uh, I just don't know what you do with a woolly mammoth and why you would want one. Maybe a zoo. And eh, maybe someone will call in and tell me why. Maybe I'm just missing the point. Uh, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh, let's take a look at some of these other stocks. Uh, question about Apple after we talked about it at the beginning. Didn't really look at the chart. You're back to support here today. Uh, no big surprise. Um, probably the biggest surprise is that all the PR on all the King's men wasn't able to push Apple up again. Oh, boy, I'm going to write that one down. See what I did there? Uh, anyway, uh, yesterday, you know, you kind of back into that trading range of yesterday now anyway. Um does this mean Apple's worthless? No. Does it mean that you should fear the exact same thing that happened out here this morning with Microsoft? The answer is yes. Um, these, I'm not a big fan of going after these companies, even uh, with these days, uh, with the ability for them to dip in their pocket and buy their own shares back. Uh, Microsoft, if you missed it, what is that, 80 billion, 60 billion or 80 billion? I don't know. Something with a B. Uh, buyback today, of course, huge pop up for them. Uh, can Apple do the exact same thing? Yes. And will they? Most well, I think they'll defend it. Whether they'll pop it like Microsoft? And, uh, hey, I stay away from shorting these guys with lots of cash. Just kind of. We'll be back in a minute.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we return, getting ready to wrap up the show, uh, up 34 points on the S&P cash. Uh, the volume we have, as I said, uh, you know, if you really wanted to see is this some kind of thrust down this morning, uh, we would have had a lot of volume. I kind of like that a lot of people aren't jumping on the bandwagon here at 7 billion shares for the day. Um, so just thinking we've got a couple more days. Uh, option market makers are pretty confident that they got 4,500 in the bag. Uh, we'll see by the end of the day what they do, see if they try to push that any farther, like 45, 25 or so for the S&P cash on Friday at the close. Uh, nervous market, not uncommon. Um, this one generally finds a bunch of people shorting that sets the low. What we had in this one, at least if this is the low for today, uh, was uh, sellers giving up and buyers giving up at the same time. Um, and that was kind of it. It just kind of died with a whimper. Generally, lows kind of come in with a bang. Um, so, you know, if you're feeling bearish, I suspect that your opportunity will be waiting until next week into the market. He had a question whether or not Microsoft was a three gap play. I suspect he was talking about the gap uh, the, uh, the day before yesterday and today. 
And I would say that the, what you want in a three gap play is probably something like a minimum of a 10 percent gap higher. These kind of, you know, two, three percent gaps aren't going to be much of anything uh, when it comes to it. Now, you get one more gap and is that it? Yeah. But the whole idea of a three gap play is it develops over months sometimes or at least a month or uh, weeks anyway, and that sets the tie that instantly gets filled on the backside, kind of the last blow off in the stock. So when you can, not when you have to, we'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Hold on for Tom on most of TFNN.com. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.